I think it's really important to show your true and authentic face to the world. If you don't know who you are and you're not presenting that to the world, how are other people gonna know who you are? Oh, mira, mira, mira. I'm Eddie Jarrell Jones with an X on the end, and I am a member of the legendary House of Garcon, and I walk Butch Queen and Drag's runway. I walk, I eat, I slay. I walk, I eat, I slay. Judges, your score. Tens across the board. Makeup led me to being able to explore my gender on my own terms. Being non-binary is literally going against a gender construct that society has set. For me, gender is like a shower nozzle where it's like you have hot, you have cold, and then you have everything in between. Nobody is all hot, nobody's all cold. It's just what you've been allowed to explore in your day-to-day -day life. Makeup is like my armor. For my daytime face, I don't do like a triple stack lash. That's for the ball, <laughs> that's for nighttime. Makeup has always been a tool in my community for people to be the person they are or who they really want to be. And I think that's the best way to sum up a ball. I can be this person in this ballroom, and this is setting me up to be this person out in the real world. As open as the ballroom community is, many may think that gender roles are like no big deal, which is completely incorrect. Every category has female figure and male figure, but that's not necessarily how I identify. I've seen categories like androgynous face, that's a huge step towards breaking those gender roles and I think is really going to be ground shaking. I think in today's world, there are way more representations of all types of people expressing themselves through hair, beauty, and makeup. And it just really helps children to see there is someone else out there like you and they're doing it. That's really what my work is here to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final battle. Thank